First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of a great millstone, who definitely rule well and honor your salutations to the hopeful elect. So, what I want to get into in this lesson, man, is uh, what I want to title this is like, if you're not humble, you're at risk. Something along those lines. Okay, because if if you're <clears throat> if you're not humble and you're not sincere, and this all goes to myself first and foremost. This is a very scary thing, man. It also goes into the fear of the Lord. It's a very scary thing if you don't have a true humble spirit on you. If you don't have a true sincere spirit on you. Now, let me get... Alright, this is Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 3, verse 18. It says, The greater thou art, the more humble thyself. And thou shalt find favor before the Lord. So it's as simple as that. The Lord is not a man that he should lie. So if we truly are humble, we will find favor before the Lord. Now you could be a great man to where you're racking in all these views. You're racking in all these followers. Right, but now you have to be even more humble because if not, guess what? You could lose it all. You could lose it all, man, and that's scary. If, if we don't humble ourselves before the Lord, then we could be at risk for losing every everything that we have. Okay. Let me jump back over. Because it's the Lord who opened our understandings. Luke 24 and 45. Then he, <clears throat> then he opened their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Okay. See that? So that's the point. It's the Lord who opens our understanding. To be able to understand the scriptures. To be able to understand the breakdowns. To understand that we're the Israelites. To come into this truth. It was the Lord. That opened our understanding to it. So just as he opened. Oh man that's in um. What's that? I think Revelation the second chapter. You know maybe the. So just as it was the Lord who uh so like it. Okay, come here it is here, Revelation the third chapter. So just as it was the Lord who opened our understanding, if the Lord ain't feeling how you coming and he sees that you not being humble, you're not being sincere, and this all goes to myself first and foremost. <clears throat> just speaking in general as well. Literally don't have anybody in mind. Um, it's just on my spirit to uh, bring this lesson out like a reminder, you know, through the Lord. <laughs> well, maybe that dude in uh from um <laughs> from uh that was from San Francisco, but that's like old news anyway, you know. None of my business personally anyway. But um, yeah, it just seems that you know he's not, but it's not even, not even about him. You know, it's, it's about us, us brothers, brother, and other hopeful elect. First and foremost, if anything, <clears throat> so it says. So yeah, just so if the Lord not feeling you, right? Because you're not being humble, you're not being sincere. He could easily close your understanding. All right, and the scary thing is, he doesn't have to do it right away. He can let you uh, fizzle out. The Lord is very patient. Very patient, man. Patience is a beautiful thing. The Lord don't mind being patient. 
And that's where the fear of the Lord comes in. So it's Revelation 3 and 8, the words of Yahweh Shai. says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast had a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Getting into the name. <clears throat> Once again. Um, but so I get. No, let me search up then. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Revelation 3 and 7. Uh, I start at verse 6. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true. He that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. Woo, see? So that's the Lord, man. The Lord opens, if the Lord opens, you know, our understanding to come into this fold and be a part of this truth, no man can shut that out. We're going to remain no matter what. The hopeful elect is already sealed. But if the Lord shuts, you know, and kick, kicks you out this truth, so to speak, takes your understanding away, no man can open. So there's nothing you could do for that man. Come on, man. You got to come back into the fold. You got to do this, man. You got to fear the Lord. And look, look at this scripture. And look at that scripture. And you can't open. You can't, man. All right, there's nothing that you could do for that man, except uh, maybe pray for him. You know, that's if he's a, somebody close to you or something like that. Maybe the Lord have mer uh, mercy on him. But uh, you know, somebody that put their hand to the plow and was out there in the highways and byways for years, and it's no point of even, you know, entertaining that at all. But that's the point. He that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. On Khan, that's what it says right here in the next verse. Once again, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. See? So the Lord right there telling you, he's the one that set the open door before you, and no man can shut it. See? So, when, and, and that's a beautiful thing to know because... When they when they begin to demonize us and persecute us and come against us and 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 really take it there and it really goes there and it's finally there and it's finally up right so to speak they're not going to be able to shut shut out our faith in the Lord our understanding our zeal all right our our fear of the Lord you know the love that we have for the Lord once again our faith and our belief and our hope in the Lord they're not going to be able to shut it no matter what. Because it's the Lord. Alright? No man can shut it but the Lord. For thou hast had for thou hast a little strength, and that's all it takes. That's what Yahweh was saying before. If we just have the faith of a grain of a mustard seed, that's all it takes. The Lord is looking for a little faith. A little faith. Okay? Right, which is really big, which is really gonna be big faith. A little faith is gonna turn into a uh, big faith, man. And has kept my word and has not denied my name. Alright. So being humble, man. Alright, let me do the little cheat code and just type it in. You know, and 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 matter of fact, another one. I think that's let me search it real quick for time's sake. But I'll quote it the prayer of the humble pierce the, the clouds, man. Alright, so the Lord dealing with the humble. He's going Psalms is always good. Psalms 9 and 12. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. Whoo! 
he forgetteth not the cry of who? The humble. All right. See? Proverbs 16, 19. Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. See? Who a great ones. Uh, Proverbs 29, 23. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. See? See? So if you're not humble, you're at risk. Remain humble, yo. If we, oh my goodness, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I caught myself at least before the lesson ended. Cause I'm over here saying you, you, you. So I like get bad habit. Cause I should be saying we the whole time. Cause it goes for myself as well. First and foremost, if anything, since I'm the one saying it. So if we not humble, we are at risk of losing it, getting shut out, getting uh, uh, Jazzy Jeff, getting Jazzy Jeff right out the door. See? Remember one time we had a dude who came up to the camp. He's like, man, F being humble. F being humble. Like, what? You obviously don't read the scriptures. But he's just experiencing life without the scriptures. See, we want to experience life with the scriptures, man. Because he probably, the way he was coming, the way he sounded, he probably tried being humble and got trampled over. Got taken advantage of. Dude, I'm tired of ninja taking my kindness for weakness. But that that's what we got to go through. And guess what? Yeah, how about Shemashah will avenge. See? So once again, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself, man. So that, that that's pretty much it. You know, because um I gotta give credit where credit is due. I first heard the scripture from Elder Kazak. If if I didn't wasn't listening. To his lesson, I would have never. Would have came across this through the spirit. Um. So, like, let me search this real quick. Okay, Con, here it is here. Psalms 84 and 7. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before the Most High. See? So, what? Going on to higher levels, climbing higher levels in the Lord, you know, because we're not going to stay the same. We're not going to stay the same. We're going to continue to grow in this thing. That's, well, I believe Proverbs four and eighteen. Yep, the path, the, but the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. See, so we're going to shine more and more and more and more and more into the perfect day. As knowledge continues to fill us in through the Supreme Power of Yahweh wisdom, understanding, experience, faith, zeal, the fear of the Lord, first and foremost, faith in the Lord. As that begins to constantly fill and fill and fill and fill, and we reach higher levels and levels and higher levels, we have to remember what? To stay humble. See? So that's the whole point. We're going to grow in this thing. We're going to get better in this thing. We're going to become stronger in this thing. We're going to reach higher levels in this thing. But the key is to always remain humble within it. We're going to be able to make people look totally stupid. <laughs> you know, we're going to see, dang. We got major wisdom in the Lord running circles around people of the world. But what? The greater thou art, the more humble thyself. First Peter 2 and 2, as newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. See, so we're going to grow. We're going to get better. But the point is to remain humble, humble, humble in the Lord. 
Lowell and this was edifying. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.